Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back to a brand new Civil 3D tutorial. My name is Charles Ellison. I'm your instructor for this evening. Um, I would like to start off with addressing uh, some comments that I've been getting on my channel. Lately on my channel, I've been getting very opinionated comments on the free tutorials that I provide, on the free content that I provide. And it has me rethinking whether or not I should uh, make it available to people. Hold on, let me adjust my headset. Yes, I have a, uh, an entire website that gives uh, free Civil 3D tutorials. But lately, I've been getting a lot of opinionated people saying that, uh, yeah, your tutorials are too long. Uh, you say, uh, too many times. Uh, you were getting tired of uh, listening to your conversations with your friends. Well, to tell you the truth, uh, if, if you don't like that style of free content, I would highly suggest that you become a subscriber. Right here, you can click for a free three-day trial, and I don't, and you don't have to waste your time. You can get into the content right here, and who knows, maybe you might end up becoming a paid subscriber to this channel. However, for the new subscribers, this this uh, this YouTube channel has been growing and growing with brand new subscribers regularly and with brand new subscribers you get subscribers who become very opinionated on the free content that you give to people you know i have a entire website here civil3d.tv that gives access to people who are beginning their journey into civil 3d a lot of these live streams i'm just working through my content guys there's going to be us, there's going to be people that come into chat that I talk with. You know, it's, it's going to be one of those things to where if you want, if you want to learn from free content, that's, just, that's what, you, what you have to deal with. But if you don't want to have to deal with that, you can go straight to becoming a paid subscriber. Right here. Watch.civil3d.tv and you can just cut straight to the chase. So that's what I would suggest. If you have opinions on free content that I provide, um, I'm, I'm open to uh, the different subjects of Civil 3D, but ultimately I have my own set of courses that I'm getting through, that I'm working through. So um, I've been getting uh, emails from people that say that uh, I'm very disappointed that uh, you don't have a uh, tutorial video on this particular subject. I'm sorry. I'm working through my set schedule. I'm not working through yours. So that's what I have to say to people that, uh, that are very critical over my content. Actually, a lot of the people that are critical of my content tend to be from other countries, not from the U.S., So, um, yeah, that's, that's uh, what I'd like to address at the beginning of this video. Uh, let me see here. There's lots of information right here. But let's get to uh, our tutorial here. Okay, we're going to be getting into importing points from a database. In this exercise, you'll import points from a database to a drawing that uses description keys to sort points into groups. This exercise continues from creating point groups. So let's go about importing points from a database. This exercise uses points-1 drawing, 
with the modifications you made from the previous exercise, or you can open the points-1a drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. All right. Okay, in the tool space, under the prospector tab, we're going to right click on points and we're going to select create. Okay, we get our create points dialog box. What's up, Sammy? Hey, brother, I clicked on clicked the, the thumbs up. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Peace and love to you, man. Thanks for showing up. He's he's the most engaged YouTuber on YouTube. Sam, the inspirational nomad. I appreciate you, brother. Okay, in the Create Points dialog box, make sure that you hit this little downward arrow right here so you can get the entire box. Then we're going to click this plus. And for the default layer, we're going to change this. We're going to change this to V node. And click OK. All right, in the Create Points dialog box, we're going to import points by clicking this button right here. And in the format list, we're going to click this external point, ex excuse me, external project point data database. That's what it is. Now, we're going to hit this plus. Let's try this again. For whatever reason, we're frozen. All right, here we go. Select source file. We're going to select points and click open. Now in the advanced options, make sure everything is cleared, then click OK. That might take a little while to import the points. All right, let's close out of this. I'm going to zoom extent, ZE for zoom extent. We have all of our points right in here. Now in the tool space, under the point groups, we're going to expand this. And you can see, we know that points are in the all points group because we have this dot within our box. So if we click that, we get a listing of all of our points. And there's a ton of points in here. The points are displayed both in the drawing and in the tabular form in the, the tool space list view. In the drawing window, if you move the, cu the cursor over a point, a tool tip will display. See right here? It displays the basic data about the point, and notice that the two stormwater point groups appear to be empty. Let's check this out. Yeah, these two points, these two groups right here, 
you notice that in all points, we've got all of our points listed in here, but in these other areas, there's nothing. Very important step, click on the point groups, right click, and select update. Now they're all listed. That's a very important step, especially when you're importing points. You want to make sure that you update your point groups. Now what's great about having point groups is that you can click on a point group, right click, and you can select zoom to. You can right click and select select. And you get all your points within that point group. That's pretty nifty. That's very, very helpful. Storm manholes. You can click on that, right click, zoom to. Right click again, hit select, and you can see all of your storm manholes. How would you like to weed through all of this information uh, point by point? That's very time consuming, but with, in, with import points, because we have our description keys defined, it automatically places it in the appropriate point groups. Right now, if I right click on a point group and I select edit points, then if I want to, I can edit elevations right here. I can edit the raw description, but be careful if you edit the description, then it can throw it out of the point group. So you have to be careful of that. There are lots of things that you can change within this particular panoramic view, this point editor. Now you can review and change their attributes. And that's basically it, guys. This is going to be a nice short one. We're going to be getting into displaying and editing points in our upcoming videos. But, that, but that's it. Here's a short and sweet video. Again, if my videos are long-winded, uh, I suggest that you start a free trial with a Civil 3D All Access subscription. You get three days to go through all of my edited, clean, concise content. You don't have to deal with any sort of uhs or ums or anything like that. You don't have to deal with me talking with uh, people that show up in, ch in the chat view that, that might have questions. And you don't have to deal with uh, just interruptions because there's going to be interruptions. There's going to be areas in the free tutorial with the, the free uh, live stream that I'm going to mess up. I'm, I'm even going to mess up some of these tutorials, guys. I'm going to mess up some of these tutorials and I'm going to fix it, but I'm going to post these tutorials anyways. You might have to deal with that. I did that with uh, a few different tutorials recently where uh, I think uh, the vertical alignment uh, tutorial, I labeled it part one because I'm not finished with working out the tutorial. Sometimes I encounter problems with the tutorial that I need to work out and eventually that will end up going into the Civil 3D All Access subscription, the curated content, the concise content. So when you're watching free content through YouTube, uh, bear that in mind that I'm probably going to make mistakes within this tutorial. So you have to bear with me if you're uh, watching the free content. But if you want content that's already worked out, 
all the problems have been solved, a subscription is what you need. The subscription content has all of that information that, you, that you'll need. Actually, it's, it's 10 hours worth of, uh, of content so far. And people, there's been people that have been able to knock it out within uh, th the three-day trial period. If you're that committed to learning Civil 3D, yeah, you, you have that ability. But 10 hours of content, it might be a lot for other people. Not only that, uh, with, with classroom-based content, you're looking at, I think it's uh, thousands of dollars for a week-long session with uh, specific training with whatever it is that you need. But with this subscription, with this online subscription-based content, it's 30 bucks a month. Or it's roughly about uh, 300 bucks a year. So those are your options. You can spend thousands, or you can go with a subscription-based content, where subscription-based service where I'm adding content to it regularly. But there are people that stick with the free content, and yeah, you have to roll with a lot of mistakes that end up being made when I'm running through these tutorials. So bear that in mind when you're uh, when you're watching these videos. You might. You might not get the answer that you're looking for. I'm sorry to say, but with this, with the subscription content, straight to the point. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it, leave it at that. Nice short video, guys. Take care. Again, I welcome suggestions, if they're suggestions, but if someone dictates video titles, if someone is ordering me to create videos for them, that's not going to happen, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so 